Hey gems, I hope everyone is doing and feeling well. Today is February the 27th and it is 1400 hours, okay? Um, so guys, I just, I just had to redo this video, okay? Because I just recorded it and I noticed 14 minutes in, it said that it was recording. It had the little green lines going through it. And then I looked down and it stopped recording, played it back. And then I had not recorded not one single thing, which was bizarre, okay? Um... But anyway, um, I wanted to, I pulled a card from my Oracle, the Fairy Oracle um, Deck and Guide book, okay? So, the card that came out is um, containing multitudes, okay? So, it says the Yuksha, I may be saying that wrong, y'all, but it's spelled Y-A-K-S-H-A, the Yuksha of Indian mythology. Okay, like many fairies are protectors over nature. These Hindu supernatural beings live in forests and mountains, watching over hidden treasures, and some sources describe them as beautiful and benevolent, others as terrifying and malicious, hunting the wilderness and searching the travelers to scare. <laughs> in Thailand, the Yaksha statues can be seen guarding the Buddhist temples, okay? And it says, when you, when you draw this card, Allow yourself to contain multitudes. Others may try to put you in a box, but you know you are many things all at once. Like stories told about Yuksha, you too may be perceived differently by different people, and that's okay. Let yourself be a mystery to others as well as yourself, okay? So... Some of you guys, people try to put y'all in a box, okay? They want to try to label you, you know, because, you know, everything has to be labeled. Everything has to have, you know, some type of science behind it. It has to be, you know, we have to be able to identify, identify, identify. So some of y'all, y'all are just not meant to be put in a box, okay? Who even developed a damn box? Who even said there was a box that everyone had to fit in, okay? Because clearly, whoever made that shit up didn't know what the hell it was talking about because a lot of y'all embody multitudes okay you are a lot of things okay maybe today you are you know you, you're a purple person maybe tomorrow you're a blue person not 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 literally i'm just saying figuratively just you know um but don't put don't not allow us to put you in a box okay and don't even be putting yourselves in a box okay um it's okay to be different it's okay to be yourself okay um so somebody needs to hear that that was for someone okay also i wanted to share with y'all a dream that i had the other night um it was a whole bunch of people standing in front of a courthouse, okay? Um, they had on tans and browns suits, okay? It was a multitude of people. Um, it was different races, but two people stood out to me, okay? It was a Caucasian um, male, and it was an African-American woman, okay? They were dressed in business suits, okay? They had on like this, it was either caramel, brown, or tan suits, okay? Um the woman, she was a darker skinned female. She had like shoulder length black hair. Okay. Um, she had on a skirt suit. Um, still she was looking sexy in it. Okay. And then the African, the Caucasian male, he had on a brown suit as well, like tan or caramel color. Um, and he had like a blondish red, blondish brown color hair. Okay. Nicely cut. You know, it wasn't too curly. It was kind of like, a little wavy and he had a style really nicely but what stood out to me was um uh, all of them was like get the sage get the sage and i heard people say where are the crystals where are the crystals <laughs> where are the crystals okay so they were waiting for somebody to come out so i don't know if this was a group of spiritualists that were trying to come against someone of religion that's a religious person okay or this was a group of religious person going against someone who was of a religious nature okay um but they damn show sure was trying to mock somebody they was trying to you know taunt someone okay um and it wasn't me because they was trying to tell me to get out of the way they was like hey move 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 i'm like shit okay it was me and somebody else but i can't remember who was with me okay so something like that maybe um taking place like somebody Maybe, you know, some type of court case going on and it could have something to do with something spiritual or something religious. You know, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that was a dream. So I have some of my cards here pulled. Um, I was actually outside because it's really nice outside, guys. And my phone started acting up. So I came back inside. 
But I have my window open. So if y'all hear any noises, because there's some, ugh, some construction going on. So excuse that if y'all do. But the first card out is someone is territorial about something. Someone is territorial about a person. Someone is territorial about a belief. Someone is territorial about a property. Somebody's territorial about something, okay? They saying it's mine, and God damn it, it's mine. Point blank and period. And I'm going to have it because it's mine. And then we have somebody that is evil, cruel, unethical, or somebody could have been saying this about someone else, okay? Um... And then we have her. Somebody was judging a group of people or a particular person um, by the appearance. OK, um, maybe these people were trying to say or this person was trying to say someone else was evil, cruel, unethical, sadistical, sadistic. OK, and then we have here. I do not recommend. I do not advise. OK, so either somebody is telling somebody i will not do that i don't think that's a good idea okay or somebody needs to know if you're trying to do something if you're trying to do something cruel to somebody because you judging somebody or you territory or whatever it is that you planning you might not want to do that okay because this is this is that card and then it's god dang and then we have here they now see you aren't no one to be fucked with so so I guess somebody was judging somebody, you know, they was judging somebody for whatever reasons. Okay. And this person was like, shit, this, my, this mine, whatever I, I'm, I run this, whatever we know it could be. I don't know what it's about. It can be about anything, but this person was feeling like they had the right to stand up and do or say whatever because they was judging somebody else. Okay. Um, but now whatever they did, they see that whoever they was doing it to ain't nobody to play with now. Okay. And somebody, they, they, Clearly, I do not recommend it. Don't do it. So somebody told this person don't do it and they judge somebody. OK, this person could have done something, you know, cruel to another person. Some unethical things could have taken place because they was judging another person or persons. OK, um, and this can have something to do with pertaining to home. OK, these people even even try to bother someone at their home to try to cause some type of disturbance at someone's home. Okay, maybe these people didn't want you to have peace in your life. Someone could be born in the 1970s. You could be born in the 1970s. Any one of this equation could be born in the 1970s or something about the 1970s is significant here. Okay. And then we have Las Vegas, specifically Nevada. So something or someone is connected to Nevada. Okay. And then it says money is coming to you. So somebody got some money that's coming to them. Okay. Um. <clears throat> And then it says checkmate, check that ass. Okay, so somebody check somebody or somebody else check somebody for someone. But somebody don't check somebody ass. And we did have this. We do have this out here. Now they see you aren't nobody to be fucked with, okay? Somebody told this person a person is don't do whatever, who, whatever you're going to do, don't do it. I, I do not recommend, okay? I have one stars. I do not recommend this. I'm one fucking star. Matter of fact, no goddamn stars. Don't do it. But somebody did it anyway, okay? Either this person felt like they was going to check somebody or somebody else not been checked. And then it said, I'm sleeping with your man. Oh, my God, child. So, I mean, it's self-explanatory. Somebody is messing with someone's significant other, okay? Um, and this person may want you to know that, okay? This person could have even been, you know judging somebody by their appearance like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this because they they look at them look at them they're, they're nothing they can't what they, can, they can't compete they can't compare okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this so maybe somebody was trying to be territorial about somebody else's partner all right and got their ass checked but here we have here somebody wants a divorce okay somebody wants a divorce or somebody wants somebody to get divorced but this is my somebody that's in a relationship in a marriage wants to divorce someone else okay or somebody wants somebody to divorce their partner. And then we have this revenge card, this, you know, spiteful card. So, yeah, if somebody did something to somebody or they planning on doing it, ma'am, sir, whoever you are, don't do it, okay? Don't do <laughs> Zero fucking stars. Don't do it. I do not recommend, okay? Don't do it. <laughs> don't. <laughs> do not do this. Whatever this is, don't do it, okay? If you trying to break up somebody's happy home or, you know, if you trying to come between another person, 
you don't don't do it because the outcome is not going to be favorable for whoever this is okay and then we have this um paper towel or something that's being cleaned up the mess is being cleaned up or something that's being cleared away okay and we did have checkmate you know and then now see you ain't nobody to fuck with so somebody doing something but we do have someone here that is married in this equation okay and someone is cheating it says i'm sleeping with your man so there's a married man that's cheating and someone we don't know if it's a man or a woman okay <clears throat> um but somebody could definitely be cheating that's born in the 1970s or someone um could be cheating with someone that was born in the 1970s and then it says somebody wants to speak to somebody but they don't know they aren't sure if you want to talk to them they don't know how to approach the situation nor you they don't know where to start from okay um This could be pertaining to love or anything, but somebody definitely wants to have a conversation with someone. Somebody can want to tell somebody they want a divorce. Somebody could want to, you know, tell you that they're cheating with your man. Okay, but then we have this um, intelligence, wisdom, wise, okay, elegance, the stable. So someone is seeing someone like this, okay. Or maybe someone perceived someone to be this and they were the complete opposite because they did. We have somebody here judge somebody. Maybe somebody was saying that they possess these qualities, but someone soon found out that this person is very evil. This person is spiteful. This person is unethical. Okay. This person is fucking sadistic. Okay. And then we have this Michael Myers stalker out here. So this person who this person is cheating with could be stalking their significant other. Okay. Maybe this person felt like the person who they were cheating on. I don't know, child. Oh, but then we have a, a, a death here. So somebody could have passed. Or somebody's getting ready to pass. We have the vulture. Okay. Someone could have passed. And then we have 3D justice. So something is taking place in the 3D. Um, somebody going to check somebody as this. I hope nobody ain't going to get in no fight or nothing like that. And somebody end up passing away. Because we have 3D justice here. And this does not necessarily have to be a, a actual fight. But something is going to take place in the 3d that is going to bring someone some type of justice okay and we do have that checkmate here and now they now see that you know about it to be fucked with so somebody getting some type of justice okay and then we have to clean up the paper towel here clean up the mess so something is being cleaned up this can be pertaining to love or not okay this can be anything but we just got to keep going through the deck and then we have an aries so an aries is significant here in this equation And then we have cut off. So somebody, yeah, somebody trying to cut somebody off. An Aries can be trying to cut somebody off or, Air, or somebody trying to cut an Aries off, okay? But we have this death and loss card out here, okay? Let's keep going. Someone could be sending somebody some type of word with you, okay? Speaking ill over your life. You know how they do the same thing. Same thing, different days. You know, somebody definitely trying to you know, cause some type of havoc in someone's life by doing some type of spell work. Um, this does not necessarily mean somebody speaking over your life. Somebody could be paying somebody to do some type of, you know, work on you to try to call a stalemate in your life in any area. Okay. Someone could be trying to do something that has another individual cut somebody off or to stop someone from cutting them off. Because somebody feel like something is mine and we had this damn divorce card out here. So a married couple is involved in this. Okay. But then it's, I'm sleeping with your man. So a married man could be sleeping with someone else. And this Michael Myers stalker is <sighs> territorial about somebody else's man. And they're, they're stalking another individual. Okay. 
and they want to try to do something and this person trying to cut them at their ass off and now they want to be spiteful they want to you know get some type of revenge but whatever this shit is don't do it baby don't don't i'm telling you now you're gonna regret this shit don't do it if you ain't did it you gonna find out don't do it that's all i'm telling you okay and then we have this tax fraud out here so chai we got some money is coming to somebody and we got this tax fraud so somebody committed some type of tax fraud or somebody going to try to commit some type of tax fraud against someone, okay, to try to get some, you know, to try to be spiteful and evil towards someone. Maybe this somebody going to try to, if, if they're trying to leave or get a divorce, they don't want them to, so they're going to try to do something to get this person in debt or get them caught up so they can't leave. Or if they do leave, get them in a situation where, you know, their money will be tied up or they'll have a court case or something. They don't want this person to be able to have a peaceful home life. And then we have a Pisces out here. So we have an Aries and a Pisces. So a, someone could be doing this to a Pisces or a Pisces could be doing this to somebody. Okay. A Pisces be trying to cut an Aries off. An Aries can be trying to cut a Pisces off. Or one of these persons could be the mad person who wants a divorce. Or one of these persons could be someone who is mad, who is cheating. I don't, you know, take it how it resonates. Um, and then it says, then it's another card about pertaining to money. So some, somebody's going to get some type of money, okay? Or somebody expecting some money and somebody trying to do some tax fraud so you can't get your money. And then it says somebody swear they better than you. They, they swear. And we just had, had somebody was judging y'all. <laughs> somebody swear they better than you, but they feel like they got to compete with you. You don't, have, you don't, when you are better than someone, there is no room for competition. There would be no reason to compete against another person. If you're, if you already know that you are above that person and that person was beneath you, you felt that way. So clearly this person knows that they're not. They ain't on your level, okay? So that's why they, they doing things, you know, to try to outdo you, okay? So somebody trying to outdo somebody, somebody, you know, or somebody else felt this way about, see, yeah, somebody else could have felt this way about another person, okay? <laughs> they could have felt like another person um, was, you know, had was elegant, okay? Had a lot of wisdom that was wise, intelligence, okay? That was bringing stability, and they judge, you know, I don't know what 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 would make them think this. Maybe this was an act somebody's putting on and now they're saying that this motherfucker is crazy, that this person is really evil, hateful, cruel, okay? And they want to cut this person off now. This can be this divorced person that maybe wanted to get a divorce. But somebody pressed. Somebody is pressed as hell, child. Somebody is pressed. And then we have this goddamn unexpected gift, okay? So, somebody finna get something. Somebody finna get some type of money. It keeps saying money. Two cards I had to say money. This is an unexpected, unexpected gift or a deposit. So, it could definitely be some money, okay? But we got this tax fraud. We do have Nevada out here. And we know that, you know, not saying that that. Somebody could be from Nevada that wants to give somebody some money. Somebody could live in Las Vegas that maybe want to give someone some money. And then we have a personal assistant. So somebody could be cheating with their personal assistant, okay? And maybe this person became territorial about this married person. And they're trying to do things to get this person to get a divorce. Or this personal assistant just done got them crazy and trying to purposely mess up this person's divorce, okay? This person, you know... Take it how it resonates, but somebody's personal assistant is significant here. And then we have, please don't give up. Please don't lose hope. So somebody don't want y'all to lose hope on a situation. Somebody don't want y'all to give up on them, okay? And then we have the equality here. So something is going to be made fair or somebody wants to make something fair. Or somebody's going to bring some type of equality into a situation. And then we have a coke head. So somebody could be on coke here. Somebody is probably this damn Michael Myers stalker. Okay. This I'm sleeping with your man. Okay. This person that wants to be, take some type of revenge. 
And then we have someone born in the 1940s. So the 1940s and the 1970s are significant here. Somebody can be cheating with somebody that was born in the 1940s or somebody, <laughs> you know, however it goes. But, you know, hey, long, 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 the well is running and the rock can get hot and stand tall. They're going to cheat. Okay. <laughs> it don't matter the age. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. But somebody could be cheating with their personal assistant. Okay. Something is inevitable, okay? This 3D justice is inevitable, okay? This mess is going to be cleaned up for once and all. This is this is inevitable. Also, if you think about doing something crazy, ma'am, sir, don't do it because you're going you gonna to get what your ass don't want, okay? <laughs> you're going to get what you don't want, so please don't do it, okay? That's all I'm saying. Mm, then we have this crooked lawyer, and right behind that car, he was the fraud, embezzlement, and perjury car for um car. So we got this tax fraud out here. We got a crooked lawyer. We got this goddamn perjury, um, and embezzlement, and then we got this damn Nevada. Okay, so this could be this could be what is going to be made fair. Okay, somebody could have done some type of tax fraud, or stole somebody money, did something. Okay, and now we have the paper towel here. Somebody is 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 being cleaned up. Okay. Whatever they thought they can get away with, they can't. They're going to have to, you know, make it right. Okay, we have the 3D justice here. Things are being cleaned up. Somebody's going to get 3D justice, and then it's inevitable, okay, because something is being known about, and I'm pretty sure this is pertaining to some type of monies because we got a money card out here three times. All right? And then it says, no one satisfies me like you do, so somebody is hooked on another individual. So somebody could have married somebody and for whatever reason, they felt like this person was going to be the end all be all. But they are really seeing that this person is not who they, you know, made themselves out to be. OK. Someone could even be realizing that this person only was playing a game, OK, to try to win them over so they wouldn't be with the person who they I ain't going to say they really want it because if you want that person, you would be with that person. But, you know, someone who they were supposed to be with, okay? But for whatever reason, someone came in that tried to compete against this person, you know, tried to act like they were better than someone else. And they won this person over for whatever reasons, okay? Um, yeah, because someone is now in remorse, okay? I should have listened to my heart instead of listening to other people's jealousy. So we do have here that somebody going to marry somebody else, Um and they don't really want to be with that person anymore. Okay. Uh, hell, this Michael Myers stalker could be. <clears throat> but it's I'm sleeping with your man. So this could be a woman that loves someone for another person and, and they regret it. Or, hey, it's 2024. It could be a whole. It can go in, you know. I Yeah. Okay. Someone thought something was comical. Someone thought something was hilarious. Okay. Or somebody going to feel this way when they get their goddamn justice. Or someone feeling this way by somebody trying to come in and check them. Okay. But then we have access denied. And goddamn it, the gender affirming you sex changes here. Didn't I just tell y'all this? So somebody could be messing with a transgender. Okay. Um, but let me go back to this access denied. Okay. So we have this, we have this crooked lawyer out here. Okay. We have this um, fraud, embezzlement, perjury, okay? And then we have this Nevada. And then we have this paper towel, something that's being cleaned up. 3D justice, something is inevitable. Somebody was trying to get in some accounts. They either was trying to get in some, some accounts and they were not able to, okay? Or they weren't, were, and now because something is known about, they're not able to get in there, okay? Because they don't have the right credentials anymore. Oh, let me tell y'all something. So yesterday... I was logging into my account. Okay, I use this account. It's not no money account and like that, but I was logging to this one account, right? And I, I use the account often. Never had no issues. Never. I don't care how many times I went in throughout the day. I never had no issues. So yesterday, I'm trying to get into the account. I, like, I was just in the account. Got out of it, went back in, and they're going to pop on into my, you have exceeded your password, um, the amount and limit for the day. I'm like, what the fuck? So long story short, I had to call the people to actually get into the account. Now, the first person, the representative I spoke to, 
and he was acting like he, you know, oh, let me help you, whatever. But he was like, okay, so I'm sending you a link and you just, you know, put your information into this link or whatever. However, when I, it was a Google account. However, when I, you know, got into the Google account, it told me that I had been blocked permanently. But it was crazy because the email address that came up with that account, I've never used that email for that account, okay? And then I kept trying to get into it, get into it, and I was not able to get into it. But what was even more strange is it was somebody else's email address there when I was trying to get into my account. Like, what the fuck? So I don't know if somebody tried to hack my account or whatever. However, I hung up with that person. He's like, oh, I'm going to have to call the person. I was like, man, all right, do what you do. So I ended up calling another call back to another person. I spoke to another person. They got my ass in just like that. So I don't know if somebody intercepted my calls yesterday. Somebody intercepted something was trying to, you know, get into my whatever little situations. But that was really strange. That was really strange. But some access is being denied. Somebody trying to get some information and they're not going to be able to get into it, okay? Because it locked my ass out. So, and I've never, like I said, I've never had, and I've been dealing with this situation for about uh, going on a year now. It's, yeah, it don't been a year. It don't been a year. And I ain't never had to use that uh, particular website for numerous of times and never had that situation happen. But it happened yesterday. So, yes, yeah, somebody um, is definitely messing with a transgender here. So someone, someone wants somebody to know that they're sleeping with their man, and this is a transgender. And like I was saying earlier, this person could not have the sex change, you know, totally yet. They could have not transitioned into a woman or a man, okay? So somebody wants you to know that they're messing with your man, and this is definitely a tranny, okay? Um, this person could be stalking someone else, okay, because they want this person to leave their other person. They want the person that's married to leave that person, or this person that is married is going to leave their significant other for a tranny or did, okay? And then, but how in the hell you didn't know it was a tranny? I don't, yeah. This can be something that took place in the past. So clearly this um, tax fraud and all this shit could be something that took place in the past, all right? And then on top of the other deck, I ain't just saying, it's not a card that I pulled, but on the top of the deck, it says he's jealous of you. And then we have this BB, this um, loves the knife surgery card. So, yes, yeah, somebody, God, shit. Oh, and then on the other card, it says surface fucking level. See, somebody went off somebody off motherfucking appearance. This person went in. You know, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Y'all got to be, y'all got to listen. I don't give a fuck. Anything can be made to be beautiful. Anything can be made to be look like something that is not. And this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. What I'm trying to say is not what's on y'all. It's what's inside you that matters. You can take the ugliest person and make them the most beautifulest person. Okay? But that does not mean that their heart and their soul, the way they think, is beautiful. Do not get caught up in that superficial shit with looks. You know, and I'm not saying that looks don't matter because we all like to look good. I like to look good. Okay? I like to look good, smell good, dress good, all that good shit. But, baby, you got to have something more than that. And just because what it looked like, something on the outlet does not mean their outer appearance matched their insides, okay? Y'all better start asking for motherfucking birth certificates around here. Y'all better start asking for baby pictures and then shit. I don't even know about that because you can generate a goddamn this damn AI shit. You can generate false shit all day, every day. So somebody done got tricked, okay? Somebody messing with a trend and this can be something that happened in the past, okay? Maybe this person <clears throat> is threatening to tell. That they was, you know, if you, if you don't get a divorce, I'm going to tell that, you know, that we would have something going on. Okay. This can be someone's personal assistant. The only thing we have, I hope we have a lawyer, a crooked, a crooked, a shady ass, no good ass, cunning ass lawyer. Okay. <laughs> and then we have a personal assistant. So somebody, a personal assistant can be a tranny. I don't know. Or somebody could just be messing with a tranny. And then we have good things on the way to you. So some of y'all got some good things that are on the way to y'all. We are we are to see that out here. We have um, unexpected um, gifts or deposit. Then we have money is coming to you. And then it's just that money, money, money card where somebody might want to give you a donation or something. This can be on Cash App. This can be on Zelle. This can be some type of wire transfer. This can be on Venmo. This can be on anything. But some money is coming to some of y'all. Um, <clears throat> and then we do have here... Um, this silver fox. So this can be an older man. We do have someone that was born in the 1940s and the 1970s, okay? But somebody is cheating with a tranny out here, okay? Somebody is a transgender in this equation, and they want you to know that they messing with your man. So there's a man that's on the down low. Okay, because if he's married, I mean, I mean, not saying that you can't be married to the same sex, but clearly somebody is married and they're sleeping with uh, the same sex. 
And this can be an older gentleman because my silver fox card. This is a, you know, a male um, 35 and up, okay? I'm going to say 35 to 50. Because anything after 55, I'm going to say, not saying, not, not saying that you're a granddaddy. Not saying it, but I'm just saying, you know, just <laughs> not saying that at all. But, you know, 55 and up, okay? Um, and then we have here, your neighbors are plants, they're spies. So some of y'all... Some of y'all neighbors could know that somebody is cheating here. Somebody could even mess with their neighbor. Ain't no telling. But somebody, your neighbors are watching for a particular reason. This, your neighbors are spies. Their plants are not for no reason. So somebody's neighbor is definitely significant in this equation. Maybe if y'all want to know something, ask your neighbors. Because your neighbors may know some information that y'all want to know about. Okay? Because you know how neighbors be. You know how those neighbors are. Or somebody just has some neighbors that are watching y'all for specific persons. Somebody could be paying somebody to watch y'all, to report back to them, okay? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we have a little more time. So let's see what is going to fall out. Whew. All right. And so just what else is what that you would like for us to know today? Is there anything else? It said it's a huge no. So... We already had here. I do not recommend. Don't do it. Zero stars. Okay? Now they see you and nobody to fuck with. So somebody finna do something. Oh, if somebody trying to set somebody up, plant some drugs on somebody, that shit ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. It's a huge fucking no. Don't do it, okay? Don't do it because however you think it's gonna play out, it's not gonna play that. Yeah, somebody, somebody, somebody ain't got them all. Somebody really ain't got them all. Somebody could be suffering from depression or somebody just clearly just fucked up in the head. And y'all, I'm not saying this about, I'm, okay, especially if it's, if it's transgender, if it's somebody, you know your hormones are already fucked up because you're taking all these medications to try to make you into something that you naturally are not. And don't get mad at me because if you was a real woman or a real man, there would be no reason for you to go and have the surgery, okay? That's, fun, I mean, point blank and motherfucking period. There would be no reason for you to go have a surgery to turn you into something that you're not. Okay, so this can be a transgender that's feeling this way or not, guys. But somebody crazy. Somebody want to have some type of renewal, a new beginning. Or somebody does not want you to have that. So they're going to try to, you know, plant some drugs on someone to try to stop that. Okay. Um, yeah, but um, someone is illegally watching someone. And we did have that. Your neighbors are spies here. Somebody could even be recording you in your home. And then we did have, it's like somebody want, you don't want you to have peace in your home. Okay. Um, somebody's paying somebody to do something for profit, okay, <clears throat> towards another individual. Um, however, you know how to harness your strength, okay? Okay, but whatever's coming in for you, this this 3D justice is going to be worth the wait. Okay? And then we have fingerprints. So somebody been found, some fingerprints been found, some type of DNA evidence been left behind, or somebody done left something behind that done solved the mystery, done solved the crime. If they plan on doing something, it's, it's going to be solved because somebody's going to leave some type of um, evidence behind. And then we have a um, tropical oasis, massages in different places. So somebody who's going to take on vacation or needing to or something could have took place on, we say, a death certificate. And we did have this death or loss here. So somebody could already have them put, put claim y'all as dead and trying to, you know, make that happen. And then we have be careful what you wish on somebody because twists and turns, it might turn around and hit you. So be careful what y'all planning on. Because it might just be your fate. All right? But until next time, Jim. Love you all. Later.